Flipping these two skins is easy actually by Pili, Pili Willy CS or me. So this is a little video for those who've already made a dollar flipping CSGO skins or already have a few different trades and just want to optimize their systems and want to optimize how to make their money. This is not for the people who have not yet made zero dollars. I will make a video on that soon, but uh, I'm just going to tell you what you can do, some things that you can improve on. These are just obvious things, little things that... Uh, you may just look over so let's actually just get started in the video and uh, first of all you can join the discord server link in the description and i try to reach the 1000 subscribers so if you find this video useful you don't have to subscribe now but if you find this video useful later then you can subscribe and let's just get in the video okay the only three things that matter so there are really three things that matter when flipping these two skins and as well first of all the strategy this is basically how do you get your skins and then the speed slash consistency so how often do you trade and the budget how much money you have so let us get started and let's just look at all of these three things there's also timestamp so you can just skip ahead through all the things and let's get started with the strategy so first of all we have the strategy now because some people will be like okay but i don't have a strategy yet oh i don't have a strategy yet then here's how you can find new strategies so this is legit what I did and I also did another thing which I'm going to explain very quickly. So first of all, when I didn't know any flipping strategies or I just wanted to find new ones, this is what I personally did. So I would go to the YouTube search bar and you have YouTube, click on reject all or I don't even think that does matter. Then it will look like this. So what we will now do is search for C2 skin flipping, C2 trading profit, anything like that. So for example, CS2 skin flipping or flipping CS2 skins, anything like that. And now what you will have to do is the following. So for example, what I did is I, I watched all of these videos. So I've already seen like the ones that are five months old and I've already seen all of these videos. And also I know like a lot of these videos are shit. They, they don't teach you that good things. But what you will have to do is you have to go to filters and then sort by upload date. And then right now you will have to see the newest videos. And what you want to look for is not really like there's how to get free CS2 skins. Although they can be useful. What you can just do is like go to right over here. See what they're doing. So this one is trade-offs. Um, how to make money flipping on trading sites. So this is going to explain CS skin is monkey. Uh, I don't know how to do that. So that can be useful. And then you just scroll down and you will see every single newest video. And as you see, if you see my video, although that's Paul von 63. And then you just um, do that with every single thing. And you just do that with a lot of these things. And then you can just see, uh, of course, sorted by newest. And then you can just see everything. So that's how you will do that. Now, one exclusive tip that I'm going to tell you, which is not in presentation, is for this you will need Discord. And basically, you have different Discord servers from uh, people. So uh, I also have a Discord server where you can just ask a question. And all of these people will have a Discord server. So what you will need to do is you will just need to join a few if you're not already in some. Okay, so sometimes if you're in a Discord, for example, Skimport, GamerPay, or just in a Discord of a YouTuber, uh, people will say, like, I have a new strategy. Or you can ask some people, uh, what do you do for profit? And they won't exactly say it. But they will say it a little bit. So let's say you have someone like that. Then first of all you can see the mutual servers. And what you could technically do. Is like copy this guy's name. Or anything like that. Uh, go to a server. And then you can click from user. And then this user will. Uh, you can see everything that he said. Now I don't know if this guy has some uh, useful information. But I did this with uh, some people back in the day. And in that way I knew what strategy they were doing. Because they didn't want to tell me. So I just did that and I found what strategy they were doing. Uh, but one thing is you have to be in a lot of Discord servers. Currently, I am not anymore. But I was in like, let's say, 20, 30 Discord servers. So then you can see every server and you can make a prediction what they're doing. This was just something small that I want to tell you. So let's just get further with the video. And um, what a strategy. So what a strategy? It contains of a few different things. First of all, where do you buy the strings? Which marketplace and what type of marketplace is it? Then where do you sell the skins? Which marketplace? And uh, where, how do you withdraw your money? So uh, the thing is, uh, let's say you have 1000 euros. 
then you need to buy some skins. So you probably need to deposit it on a platform. Then uh, you will sell skins. It can be in the same platform or another platform. That depends on your strategy. And then how do you get the money that you got from selling the skins back to the first platform? So that's, um, yeah, you have a, little, a lot of steps between that. And that's what I'm just going to be talking about. So just an example is you buy skins on GamerPay, you sell them on Skimport. Then you withdraw the money uh, from Skimport to your bank. And then from your bank, you put it to GamerPay again. So that's how it will work. So let's uh, say you have an example like this. So let's say you make $1,000 per month. That took you 20 days. So what I mean with that is... Let's say you buy a skin, then let's say, okay, let's say you deposit money into a skin platform, then you uh, buy a skin, then you transfer the skin to Steam, or or you just, uh, it's already in inventory because it's pair to pair. Just so you just sell the skin, you get the money back in your bank. So when you're from the first place to the last place, uh, that took 20 days. So if that takes 20 days to completely sell one skin, then that's your complete selling cycle. Uh, and then how much profit are you making? So just for example, 10%. Usually this may not be this high. Maybe it's 5%. Uh, but let's say for example, 10%. Well, uh, it may sound very obvious, but you want to increase your profit. And how you do that is to increase, increase your average profit, your ROI, and decrease your complete selling cycle time. Because uh, every day that you decrease your selling time, that's uh, more profit because then you can spend your money faster. It's because you have a budget and you can go over the budget. So uh, how do we actually do that? We can do that by doing a few small things. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at all the fees and then trying to lower them all. So this is just a normal flipping timeline. This is how it will look. So let's just get started. So first you have the money in your bank or crypto. If you're using a bank, use a bank with no transaction fees and also watch out for banks that have, so let's say PayPal. So when you will uh, convert USD in euros, PayPal uses a very bad exchange. That's because that's how they make some profit. So uh, normally the banks are just good with that. But uh, if you're using, let's say an online bank, then these banks may, may take some profit on the conversion fee. So take a look at that and if you're doing crypto, what is best to do? So you probably want to deposit with no fee and withdraw with no fee to your bank. I know that Bybit does that. I personally don't know a lot of crypto platforms, but uh, you have to find one that does, doesn't have a uh, very high uh, sending fees because you will need to send crypto uh, very often. If you want the lowest sending fee, I believe that you will need to use a decentralized exchange. What this means is that it is not like any normal thing like Coinbase, but basically, you can just deposit your money and then you need to deposit, um, you do need to deposit, for example, Bitcoin and another coin. And you use that another coin to pay the transaction fees or when sending Bitcoin. And in that way, you just pay the real time fees. And I believe that crypto platforms, what they do is they pay the fees, but they just charge you a fixed amount. And in that way, they take a little profit. I believe that that is true. That's how it works. If it doesn't, please correct me. But um, yeah, so just lose something with lower fee. Uh, it's better to just, you know, put some uh, time to set it up if you can do that. Now, what you will do is you will deposit into a market. Use the lowest deposit fee. So let's say you have the option between credit card, um, uh, bank, ideal or something, uh, crypto. What is the lowest fee? And look at the netto fee. So look at the fee. You're also maybe going to uh, spend some sending fee to send it to their account. Look at what is the lowest fee, just sort it out, it won't take that much time. And then just only use that one. Pretty obvious. Now, buy skins. Uh, so this is also pretty obvious. Use your wallet and place buy orders or bargain. So let's say when I'm on CS Float and I'm on this account, which I did a view on. If I go to my offers, you can see that there was a skin which was for around 100 euros. And what I basically did is I said, okay, I want to pay 94 euros. So I got it for 8% less, which means that I get uh, somewhere like around 8% more profit. Actually, it's a little less because math. But as if you just play some bargains, sometimes I skim was already at a good price. So I just put 1% off. As you can see, 1% is 1%. If you can do that with a lot of skins, uh, people, people just accept 1% offers or like these very small offers. If you don't undercut them by a very lot, unless it's a very popular skin, 
then uh, people will just accept that. So that's a small way I can make more profit. Also, placing buy orders is always one of the best ways. And that's just something that you can do. It may take some more time, but usually not that a lot. Then we have sell skins. So sell at market with highest price. What I mean with this is, let's say that you have um, a skin. You can sell it at a lot of different peer-to-peer -peer markets. Then, of course, uh, try to sell it at the market with the highest price first. So let's say you have CS Float and it has a higher price than uh, Walk Spear. Then first sell it on CS Float. And if that doesn't work, then try to sell it at the Walk Spear also. But I would recommend to just first try the one with the highest price. Which are the balance? Use the lowest fee. Um, maybe you need to make it for crypto. Maybe you need to make another account. Pretty obvious. So let's get uh, further. Now here are some extra tips. What I already said is use buy orders. Use bargains. People uh, buy orders. I just recently placed one. And I got the skin for 20%, 25% off from the best price. So that's great. Use bargains. Usually if you do a small bargain, people will accept that. And if you will buy the skin anyway, just do that. And then use the GamerPay subscription. So if you are flipping on GamerPay, I know that they have a subscription, which is... They're GamerPay Elite, so your free bank deposit and withdrawals and a lot of different things, things like 60 euros per month. And if you uh, use around 3,000 euros of volume, so if you deposit and withdraw 3,000 euros in total per month, then it's actually worth it. So I recommend you to, to use that if you didn't yet know that. Now, one thing, don't panic sell. So sometimes the prices are going down very fast. Well... Uh, don't panic sell, like don't sell your skins for like the cheapest, cheapest. Um, skins will usually not go down that fast. Usually you have some time to sell them still for a decent price. And then you may, usually you make break even or a small loss. Like uh, let's say the update come out. Don't then uh, first of all, don't the second that the update comes out, don't uh, sell your skins for like a uh, loss. Just wait a little bit and usually there's not a big problem. Unless, of course, it's a special occasion. Then we have used a spreadsheet. Now, uh, I have a lot of spreadsheets in a lot of my videos. And basically what I just mean with this is you put in the skins that you buy and sell. When do you buy and sell them and uh, what the price is. And in that way you just know how much profit you're making. Then you can see, okay, what skins made me good profit. You can flip that skins again. And then you just sort of have a list of skins that are good to flip. And also you will just know how much you're making. Because uh, first I didn't use spreadsheets. I thought I was making profit. I think I was not making profit. So just use a spreadsheet. Otherwise you will probably not make profit or you won't know if you make profit. Then double down what works. This goes with the spreadsheet. So if you see that skin is good to flip, flip it more. Try to... Uh, test to flip more like that skins try to see if there's more skins of that type so let's say you flip good gloves then try to flip more of these gloves try to flip other sort of gloves and uh, maybe battle scot skins are going good maybe stature skins just double down on what works also keep testing new stretch and uh, don't <coughs> don't do stretch where you make less than five to ten percent or more per month like ten percent that should be what you're aiming for uh, prefer be a little bit more like 15. Then we come to the second part, which is speed and consistency. Okay, so what do I mean with speed and consistency? Well, speed is how fast do you sell the skins. So you buy the skin on, for example, 1st of July. You sell it on the 10th of July. Then that is like 9 or 10 days of selling speed. So how fast? the faster you can sell your skins, the more money you can technically make. And then the consistency is how fast do you spend your money? So let's say I sell the skin, then I have the money. How fast do I spend that money? So how often is my money moving? If you uh, sell a skin and then after 10 days, okay, I'm going to buy new skins, then you're not really consistent. You need to buy like the same day that you're going to get the money. If you can then spend your skins, that will be the optimal situation. If there's one or two days in between that, that's okay. But more than that is not recommended. Because you're just losing out on some money and it's probably more than you would think. That is the reason for that is because you're you're um, flipping with a budget that is not a limited budget. So you're working with something and you need to increase that. Now I made this uh, small little graph. So 
let me just put my head right over here only lower the price if a global market decline or a small undercut so what i mean with this is um well, there's a comparison between speed and price so when do you want to sell your skins for less and when do you want to sell your skins for more like because you can sell your skins for very cheap and then you have very fast speed but then you will make less profit like this is something that i will try to explain is so here you have the profit on the bottom side so here you have zero profit here you have, for example I have 100 euros profit and then you have the time so here is for example zero days and here is for example 30 days so usually it will look like this it will be like a linear line so this blue line would be like the trend line and these uh, black things that will be like the points uh, for example so usually it will be like this because the longer you will wait the higher the profit is because you will usually sell for a higher price but if there's people under you that's selling for a lower price so let's say someone uh, undercuts you then you will probably have to undercut as well now it does not always mean that more time is more profit so that's why i put this red one because it is something that is a very fair variable so it, it it does not always mean time is more profit uh, let me try to explain this to you so when would I lower lower the price? Well, I would lower the price if the whole market is going down. Because, yeah, then like 30 people are going to be under you. So that would not be worth it. But let's say that whoever skin, your skin is 8 euros. Someone has it for 7 euros. Then if there's only one person that has it for 7, you have for 8. And the next one has it for like 8.05. Then just wait for that 7 euros to sell if it's a quick sense to sell and then keep just keep your skin for eight euros and don't lower it like that would not be that smart uh if someone let's say does it for like five cents lower than you then you can undercut him with like one cent and in that way try to sell your skin faster that's what i will do how do you know when to lower or higher your price so this is just an example to explain the speed versus price so let's say you uh, your trade cycle is 21 days your profit is 10 percent so if we then divide the 10% by 21 days, we will get around 0.5% profit each day. So that means if you lower your price by 0.5%, it should sell one day faster. If you increase the price with 0.5%, it should sell one day later. So that's this little example, because let's say that you uh, now wait 10 days, then you just lost out on 5% of profit. Because usually, because on average you would have made five percent and that's what i mean with this uh sell it higher sell it uh, faster so if you hire the price and it takes a little bit more days then it's good but if you lower the price and it uh, then it should sell faster usually so that's a little bit how you can know if it's worth it or not uh, this is a little bit of a weird concept so let's just get into the next thing which is speed so speed is the concept of selling your skins as fast as possible in a nutshell, this means once skins is tradable or at least sellable, list or move it immediately. Good to keep track in a spreadsheet. So in a spreadsheet, I usually have something which I also have in my uh, spreadsheet that I shared with you, where you can see is it less uh, or more days than five or is it... No, I mean where you can see uh, how long did it take to complete the trade. And then you can just compare that and see how good you're doing with that. Then we have consistency so the concept of consist uh, the concept so consistency is the concept of spending your money as fast as possible over an elong elongated period of time so what this means is once you have the money immediately look for deals and spend it asap if if market conditions are good always keep trading only stop trading in times of fear <laughs> so this is a uh, pretty fun uh, little words right over here but what I just mean is always spend your money as fast as possible. You want to be consistent. You want to keep trading a lot of the time. And you only want to stop trading when like the market is going to be down. Or let's say there's coming an update tomorrow, which you know is going to crash the market. Okay, now we're going to take a look at budget. So let's get started with budget. Now, this slide, I just made this like five seconds ago. Because I want to explain this concept for you guys. Which also someone in my comments told me. And uh, I've been doing that for a very long time. So so I believe it was this guy. Uh, so if you're watching this, hello. It's pretty cool. Uh, and he also told me this. So 
Uh, what do I mean is, uh, so let's say you have 1,000 euros. Instead of spending that 1,000 euros on one day, that's going to be very hard to do, first of all. And it's going to create a lot of work on one day. And then the rest of your days, you have zero, wor zero work to do. And it's better to have a little bit of work each day. And it's not only because you will then uh, have to do less each day. But then it's also because of another thing. So uh, let's say you have $1,000. If you spend $1,000 in one day, what will happen is you will then spend, well, let's say $1,000 on skins. But usually it will be like $600 the first day, $400 the next day. And then uh, after one week, you have to put up for sale a lot of skins, like 10, 20, 30. You have to put it all in your spreadsheet. So it's going to take more time. And then you have to do the whole, the whole selling process. And... The, the problem with this is not the fact that you have to do one thing on one day a lot. But it's more of the fact that when uh, you have the skin, it's at a price at day one, it's at price 10 euros. If it then goes down, you bought all your skins at that price. And then let's say the next day or the day after that it goes down a little bit. You just spent all your money on the higher price. And let's say that instead of spending all your money on day one, you spent... 100 euros on 10 days divided by 10 days so there's 100 euro each day then at each price so at the lower price little lower price a little lower price a little lower price at each thing you spend some money and that means that in average you will have a better price than when you spend your money on only one day so let's say the price is going down then the thing is you're going to spend the average of like the market and it's way better than spending all your money on one day because that's a little bit more risky you're you're not gambling but it's a little bit like gambling and that's also basically what this guy said so if you have 70 dollars then divide this by seven then have 10 dollars for each days then buy 10 dollars for skins each day and um then what he will say is on day nine sold the day two skins buy more skins so this is good advice this is good comment this uh, works more if you have more money so uh, thank you for the comments Let's get to the next thing, which I want to give you a little example about the budget system. So let's say you have $1,000. You time to trade is 28 days or it's one month at least. And uh, average profit per trade is 10%. So this is what your profit would look like in one year. So I have a few different things. Okay, so you can see that the light blue line, that's 50% profit. Then you have the um, blue line, the little bit more blue line, that's 75%. The purple line is 100% profit and the black line is plus $100 per month. Now, what does this all mean? 50% profit is means that let's say you make um, 100 euro profit on month one. Then 50% of your money you're going to use for something else. So then you're left with $50. That's just because um, if you're going to be using this money to sustain your life or you're going to be using this money to buy some cases or to buy some new skins that you're just going to use for yourself, then you're gonna lose some profit or you just need to uh, buy something else if you're just gonna be spending some of your profit which is probably gonna happen you're not gonna save every single thing so that's why i'm gonna show you this is what happens when you spend the half your money then the more blue line 75 percent so pretty uh thing so that means that you spend 25 percent of your profit and the purple line is if you keep all your money now the black line that means that each month you keep all of your profit and you deposit 100 euros extra. Each month you deposit 100 euros extra. And uh, if I click on this thing, I think I can see the line. Yes. So this is what it will look like. So you will all start with 1000 euros. And as you can see, uh, it's getting a lot more, a lot more. So you can see that it's growing more and more and more. And uh, the plus 100 each month is really going really fast. And if we go to the end, you can see that with a 50% profit, we make 1.7K. With a 75% profit, we make 2.2K. And with a 100% profit, we make 2.8K. Now, with a plus 100 each month, we make 4.7 thousand. And even if you minus the 1.2 thousand that you have just spent, because you deposit 100 each month times 12 is 1.2 thousand, then you are still left with 3.5 thousand, which is 700 more then uh, when you just spend all your profit when you uh, have to 100 profit so you still have 700 dollars more in a year just because you put on put 100 dollars each month and that's the power power of budgeting 
So if you can, let's say you work in real life, if you can just spend, let's say 100, you can add $100 each month, maybe more, maybe less, depends on your situation, then you will make a lot, a lot more money. And then at the end of the year, you can always uh, pull it out. You can always withdraw it back to your bank and you will have the money back, but you will have more profit. And uh, one thing that I want to tell you is to try and to be between the 75% and the 100% profit. Like if you're going to be spending 50% of your money, then as you can see, you're missing out on quite a lot of profit. It's like you can make 50% more profit if you just spend 25% less. So I recommend you to spend like a maximum of 25% of your profit. And in that way, you will just keep um, keep a lot of money in. Because as you can see, it's an exponential gra graph. So the more money you keep in here, the more money you're going to make in the end. Let's get back to the slide. And what does this mean? So this is what it means. So you're going to 3 to 5x max in a year. Depending on your strategy, depending on how much profit you make you will most likely get three to five times your money. So 1,000 will become three to 5,000, as we just saw. If you're working with, let's say, uh, 10,000, 20,000, or if you're working with very large bankrolls, then probably two extra money in a year is also very good. Now, what this also means is that $100 is not going to make you rich. Because let's say $100, you make it $600, then you make it $3,000, that took you two years. Uh, that's, that's not that good because if you would work, you would probably make more. If you understand what I mean. It's not going to make you rich. It's going to take a long time. So <clears throat> that's why you need a bigger bankroll. Then investing more money is powerful. If you can invest, if you can invest more money each month. So if you're able to invest more money. Now do note that this money is not... Um, now do note that this is really uh, this is a little bit risky because you're now investing more money and let's say that the skins does not go good then you will be also losing more money so i always recommend to not invest like your life savings just invest money that you will be uh happy not happy but okay with losing anyways it's like the same as uh, people say always in crypto so the bigger bankroll is you will probably need to spend some of your profit on expenses in real life or online so make sure that this isn't more than 50%. The best is less than 20% of your profit. So try to keep at the 75% blue line. Try to be right around there because then you will make a pretty good money still. Don't make this your main income. Uh, trading can be risky. You can lose all your money since you technically don't own your Steam account, etc. Uh, like Steam can do anything they want to your skins. CS2 can ban skins any moment. But it's a lot better than the average stock market return. So uh, average stock market return is like the 10% from the S&P 500. I think you've uh, heard it uh, a lot of times. So we can make that in one month and they make it in a year. But also the thing is that this is a little bit more risky. So uh, that's also why you will make more money. Subscribe, please. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.